Hi there and welcome to the very first video on this brand new channel. My name's Gareth and I'm a full-time commercial retoucher and Photoshop is normally my tool of choice. But after discovering Photopea a while ago, I found it really intriguing and the flexibility and the functions are actually very extensive, especially for a free piece of software. So I thought I would make this channel to share some of my own techniques from my commercial workflow and how they translate into Photopea, which still has a lot to offer despite not being quite as fully functioned as Photoshop. But I'm going to stop talking about Photoshop now because we're in Photopea and I'm going to start off by a quite a simple but effective trick I like to use for increasing highlights. So on this lady here, on this model shop, we've got, as you can see, she's got matte lips, but there's a very tiny element of highlight if I just zoom in. I'm going to show you a trick to really quickly and easily enhance that with no selections. So first thing we're going to do is create a new blank layer. And then we're going to press B for our brush tool and make sure the foreground color is set to white, which is important for this. And then I'm, this is my personal preference. I'm going to take the hardness down to zero for a nice soft brush. And I'm going to remove the tapering from the pressure sensitivity off that just so we get a nice even application of paint as it were. And now I'm just very loosely just going to paint solid white over both lips in the area where there's either an existing highlight that you'd like to enhance further, or in this case, there's hardly any highlight, but we want to do everything we can to bring it out and give a nice glossy looking lips. So we just do that. You don't have to be accurate. All you have to make sure is that you don't go outside of the lip line. So the next stage is we go back to the layer itself and double click next to the layer name to bring up the layer style window. Now here, we're going to go down to the blend if section. And I'm not sure if any of you have used blend if before, if you have, leave me a comment and let me know how you use it. But what this lets us do is to blend certain elements out and layers based on ranges of shadow and highlight either on that layer or behind it. And I'll show you what I mean. So we've got the white painted over her lips at the moment, which would be the current layer. So if I drag this, nothing really happens because it's just solid white. But if I base the blending on the background layer, which is the model here, and I take the shadow triangle, this little triangle down here, and I pull this to the right, if you watch the lips, you'll see that that white I've painted on starts to blend away. And what's actually happening here is as I'm moving that little triangle across on the background layer, sorry, on the background section, it's blending my highlight against this value. So anything from the darkest black up to where this slider is, is being blended away. And when we get to about this point, you can see it's starting to blend away, but it's looking quite harsh. If you hold the Alt key and click on the right hand side of that triangle, it will split. And then you can carry on dragging it across. And what that's doing now is it's evening out the transition. And you can play with these two triangles. And as you can see on the lips, it's actually giving a really nice natural result. And you can obviously experiment and get the strength that you like. And you can just, once you've split these triangles, you can just play around. And I like that. It's nice and natural lipstick, sort of a satiny gloss lipstick. It's not a full on lip gloss. And we'll just click OK. And there we go. In that one simple and quick layer, and with just the brush tool and no selections, we've got a really effective, nice way to add or enhance highlights on objects. And this works for lots of things, not just lips, but I just thought it was a really good example. Well, that was quite a short one to start off the channel with, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I would really appreciate any like, subscribe or comment that you feel this content deserves. And I look forward to making more videos on a regular basis for you guys in the future. Bye for now.